Hey everyone, it's Lonnie Flowers. I am overcome with true joy due to all of the support and feedback that I've been getting with the channel in the last couple of weeks. I want to give a special thank you to all of those who have recently subscribed and all of those who've taken the time out to leave comments. I truly appreciate listening to the different perspectives and I believe that we all have something to learn from each other. So thank you. I'm not trying to give a science lesson here, far from, and actually a lot of people dismiss these ideas as pseudoscience, but energy is very real and it's all around us. I believe that we all have the capacity to read energy, but due to doubt or unbelief, some don't put it into practice. Learning how to read the energy in a room or on a person will greatly benefit you. First, I want to address the big three. Vibes, energy, and frequency. Because the nature of this topic is intuitive, it was hard for me to put into words, but I was able to find an article that had definitions that I agreed with, so that's where I'm pulling these definitions from. Vibe and energy are often used interchangeably. Energy can almost always be used in place of the word vibe, but vibe cannot always be used in place of the word energy. Vibes describe a person's emotional state or the atmosphere of a place. Vibes are a nonverbal means of communicating subconscious feelings. Energy is the strength and vitality needed to perform physical or mental activity. Energy can be used to describe someone's vibe. The example that the article gave was that they may have a good vibe due to their high energy, or they may have a good vibe due to their low or relaxed energy. And I like this example partly because just having low and relaxed energy is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I like good vibes. So regardless to whether a person is bubbly or chill, it makes no difference to me as long as they're good vibes. The last word I want to address is frequency. Frequency is the rate at which a vibration occurs. When someone is describing a good or a bad vibe, they're talking about a vibration. Different vibrations are measured by frequency. And being on the same frequency as someone means to be tuned in to the same way of thinking or thought pattern. All I want to say for now, as far as how to read a vibe or energy, is that you have to pay attention to a person's micro expressions, tone of voice, and body language. To read the energy of a room, all you need to do is feel it out. And the only way to make an accurate assessment is to be in tune with yourself. Nobody is an expert energy reader. We all have our own biases and preconceived judgments that cause us to misread at times. Verbal communication will always be important, but learning how to read non-verbally will benefit your life greatly. And on that note, listening carefully to the words that come out of a person's mouth will help you to confirm your nonverbal assessments. Now let's talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. Whilst reading energy is largely nonverbal, how a person speaks, both the choice of words and the tone of voice, have a lot to do with the energy they are emitting. It all stems from the mindset. If someone is a positive thinker, they are uplifting and authentic, they likely have good energy and emit positive vibes. On the contrary, if someone is pessimistic and enjoys chaos or conflict, they likely have bad energy and emit negative vibes. Oh, and it gets worse. There are some who, to a certain extent, understand how to read energy and use this to their advantage so as to manipulate you 
or a situation. This is done by purposefully putting off a good vibe only to switch on you when it's convenient. All of a sudden, the once good energy that you thought you were experiencing turns to bad energy. The term used to describe this is snake energy. And unfortunately, it is very prominent. Snake energy is very ugly. And if this is your energy, you won't last long around me. To match or not to match? That is the question. Personally, I will never choose to match snake energy. And I pray that you never do either. It's disgusting. Personally, I like to start everyone off at 100% with the disclaimer that I am human, therefore subject to human emotions, which may have a temporary impact on my vibe. But all in all, I would say that I have good energy and sometimes that means that I'm high energy and bubbly. Other times that means that I'm chill and reserved, but I try my best to emit positive vibes and when it's appropriate, I like to match energy so that we're on the same page. Sometimes people don't like it when you match their energy. I have mixed feelings on this. As far as matching my energy goes, I welcome it. Everything else is a case by case scenario. Just so we're clear, once I've read the energy of a person or a place, I don't allow for it to take an immediate effect on me. Further analysis is required. When dealing with a person, as much as I am interpreting your energy, I'm paying attention to every word you say because my read could be inaccurate, but out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. While I understand that everyone has the capacity to read energy, I've observed that a lot of people either don't believe that they can or they choose to ignore their feelings. There's a lot more that I want to say about this, but there's a lot more studying that I need to do. And while reading energy may not save you any heartache, it will help to bring you clarity. God bless you.